What's going on there, folks? Good afternoon. Checking in here on the uh, live stream. It is me, Earthmaster, here on this, um, well, May 13, 2021 hot day here in California, about 12.45 p.m. West Coast time. And uh, quite the active globe here over the last 24 hours or so, including a 6.0 earthquake in this region of the world. Globally, uh, globally we're looking at uh, quite the uptick. Uh, all of this comes after that uh, pretty good sized CME that hit us... Uh, uh, well over 24 hours now. Uh, take a look at the USGS latest map here. Shows the continued ramping up of earthquake activity around the Pacific Plate in general. Uh, also some movement over here where that uh, uh, pretty good size six-pointer struck off the coast of... Uh, we got Panama right here, Costa Rica. Uh, that's another area I'd love to visit down there. Beautiful area. Um, Guatemala up here. In an area, this area right here, see some pretty good uh, size earthquakes, folks. I know over the last, we'd have to go back. Well, we can do that. We can go back last seven days or so and see the general movement uh, around this region to the north. We had been seeing some pretty deep uh, movement up here around Guatemala, uh, including parts of Mexico up here as well. Um, and now finally getting some movement uh, on the little bit larger size down south. Um, near Panama, uh, just off the, uh, the coast right there. Looks like 4.6 was a little aftershock. Uh, so no doubt some, some significant movement kind of playing its part out here over the last week. This here is just 4.5 and above. Shows the general movement uh, of the, the plates out here. And it's been uh, extremely active uh, from the past couple weeks, I would say. Uh, and especially up here in the Japan area, we're seeing a, a pretty good modest uh, amount of five pointers, uh, 5.0 earthquakes or so. I still think we're lingering into something much bigger. I just, I, I, I just, I just have that strange feeling for this area. Uh, but for now, not, uh, not looking at any mega quakes in that region today over the last 24 hours, a couple inland deep earthquakes there in the subduction of the Kuro Kamachatka Trench, northeast of Japan. Uh, you can see the depths there, 107 kilometers and 44 kilometers for both of those earthquakes. Um, and they're fives, so those are a 5.1 and a five pointer. Over here along the Aleutian Trench area, seeing uh, some further movement, 5.1 near the Rat Islands, Aleutian Island chain, uh, into the uh, subduction zone there, 44 kilometers below surface. Uh, overall, definitely uh, some uh, heightened earthquake activity over the last 24. Uh, a little earthquake that popped off last night there in China. 4.6. Uh, looks like we got a 4.8 near the Nutu region. Port Villa area. Pretty shallow, 10 kilometers for that earthquake. And uh, some more further deep movement uh, compared to what we've seen yesterday in the Samoa area and the uh, Fiji Islands area some significant deep movement there in that section of the plate. Uh, so overall, folks, are looking at uh, some pretty dynamic activity out here taking place. Uh, you know, when things get moving, things get moving, <laughs> let me tell you. Uh, looking at the West Coast, uh, they're seeing, uh, you know, we're kind of looking at a migration of activity all throughout the state of California. Uh, Intermountain West regions in Idaho looking pretty active as well, up through Washington and Oregon getting in on the action as well. We're seeing a little bit of uptick in activity around the uh, volcano, Mount St. Helens there. You can see uh, within about 10 miles or so, a few earthquakes, including one uh, right smack dab on the summit, a 0.6 um, at 2.1 kilometers below the surface. Uh, no major swarms going on uh, at any volcanoes throughout the Cascades or the Sierra Nevadas, uh, but just a little small microquake activity kind of ramping up including some movement around the uh, Lassen, uh, Mount Lassen area. Not specifically at the peak, but when, within about oh, 20, 20, 30 miles or so uh, for this general activity, microquake activity at that, nothing significant. Uh, down around the Southern California area, the San Andreas Fault slipping area, slow slip, uh, not slow slip, but uh, uh, what's the word? Creeping section, how could I forget that? <laughs> How could I forget the creeping section? Oh goodness. It's a heat. Let me tell you, it cooks brain cells. Uh, yeah, a little bit of movement there. Not a whole lot though. There's that uh, 1.9 there near Pinnacles. 
along the creeping section of San Andreas Fault. Some further movement in uh, just outside the Garlock Fault structure. See a couple small uh, microquakes in that region. Southern California, San, San Jacinto Fault area looking pretty active. And the uh, Yuha uh, Desert down here getting in on some more. Uh, there's a little gnat flying around. It was bugging me. A um, little bit of further movement up here. I should say down here. Um, north of the border uh, in the Yuha Desert area. Uh, but overall, folks, it looks like we're just, uh, it almost looks like we're just getting back to average earthquake activity out here. Uh, there was a little quake off the coast of Oregon, 3.2. We have been watching this region pretty actively. Um, let's see, we can go 30 days, 4.5 and above. Well, actually, we can go right here. 30 days, 2.5 and above. You can see the, uh, this excludes all microquake activity. So 2.5 and above over the last 30 days, you can see the activity that uh, we were watching. Most of these were five pointers uh, near the Blanco fracture zone there a few, uh, few days ago, a couple weeks ago now, I believe it was there. I, I lose track of time so quickly. I think the older I get, the, the faster time goes by and I, I forget. Seems like just a couple days, but it's been, uh, you know, when was this? Uh, back on the 29th, so a couple weeks ago. Woo. Um, so yeah, this area has been under quite a bit of uh, eyeballing lately. Uh, just because it is a Cascadia subduction zone, but uh, they do see movement quite often here. Uh, luckily, we're not looking at any mega quakes on that map. All right, folks, um, I'm going to jump off here. I will be back a little bit later on. <coughs> Excuse me. Goodness. I've been having this tickle in my throat, and it's just been bugging the heck out of me lately. I can't, can't get rid of it. Um... So yeah, we'll be back a little bit later on uh, with a complete update video. A trimmer, we'll check trimmer real quick. It doesn't include, uh, does not include uh, today's activity. This is strictly yesterday's. Looks like we're getting a little bit more uh, increase in pressure to the south, the southern end of the Cascadia. I know we had that huge blob of movement over the past couple weeks or so, or a few weeks I should say into the uh, coastal ranges of Oregon underneath there, underneath the uh, slippage area. Uh, but uh, looking at possibly a return of that movement down here in the southern end, we'll have to see what today's activity looks like uh, to kind of make that uh, decision. All right, guys, have a good day out there. 4.8, rocking and rolling out there around the uh, uh, Port Vila area. Just overall pretty seismically active, folks. We're looking at... Uh, Looking at things definitely ramping up. So stay safe out there. Uh, have a good day. It is uh, one day away from Friday, right? Well, th tom tomorrow's Friday, and then we got the weekend coming. That's always a good thing. Have a good day, folks. We'll chat you a little bit later. Stay safe out there.